All right, y'all, I'm Chris, and this is your Airstream power awning tutorial. So the power awning control has four buttons and an on and off switch. When you're not actually adjusting the awning, as in moving it in or out or tilting it, I want you to make sure you have the awning switch turned off and that will help preserve the count memory on the motors. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn the awning control panel on by pressing the on switch. And then for the first time you open the awning, I want you to press the close button before you press the open button. As you're towing these trailers, it will vibrate while you're going down the road and it may have worked its way away from the side of the trailer a little bit. By pressing close first, it'll tuck back into the awning. It's gonna reset the count memory and it's gonna cause the awning to operate more smoothly. So we're gonna press close and then we're gonna press the open button. These awnings, these power awnings will always stack a little bit on this rear end. So when you see it start to stack, you want to give it just a little bit of help. Turn the awning light on there. All right, now this awning, like all the awnings on your Airstream trailer, is a sunshade. So if you've got more sunlight coming in from one direction or another, we can tilt the awning. We're gonna press the tilt front button. We're gonna draw that front end down. But you can pause that arm anywhere along its path if that is sufficient to block the sun by pressing that button again. However, you are only allowed to draw one side at a time down. So if that had been sufficient to block the sun during the day, but now it is the evening and we need to draw the other side down before it will allow us to do so, we must first bottom this side out and then bring it all the way back out. And the reason is, is I'm using the same button for all these functions. You just kind of have to cycle through the menu options. All right, now we can draw the rear side down. While we're waiting on that to come down, I do want to mention that there is an LED light strip across the top. We can dim that light. Or turn it off completely, but I do want you to be aware that folding the awning in does not cause the light to go out, only the switch on the wall. I do want to mention that this is a sunshade, so if the wind starts to pick up or it starts to rain, you need to close the awning. But if you have one side or another drawn, you do not have to waste those few minutes of bringing it back up. You can simply press the close button and from there it will go ahead and close. I just want y'all to be aware that this would have been the case if it had been the other side that was down as well. And of course, once you're done maneuvering and adjusting the awning, I do want you to make sure you have the awning control panel turned off. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or have any recommendations on content you'd like to see, make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoy our content, give us a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Airstream DFW.